back to another episode of Lauren Plays The Sims 4 in the absolute weirdest way she can think of. And this episode is actually presented by EA Game Changers, who gave me early access to this brand new tiny living Sims pack. And because I can't play The Sims like a normal human being, I decided I wanted to see how tiny we could possibly go. I feel like everybody's going to be making this type of video where they just make the tiniest house. But you know what? I, I'm just going to do it anyway. Because my goal is to create such a tiny house that it kills Sims. Like Sims just die inside so badly from living in such a cramped small space that they actually die physically. That's my goal. <laughs> All right, so this is the tiny house that EA gives us as an example. And uh, we're going to make this even tinier because there's so much unnecessary stuff in here. Like, it looks super cute, but we're going for survival, not cute. I also think that I might have to make a couple floors because we're gonna try and stick as many Sims as we possibly can into this tiny space. All right, kitchen's as small as it could probably be. Uh, the bathroom, I think, is as small as it can be. Psh, we don't need this. We don't need this. This is the Murphy bed. We don't need this. We just need this little tiny living chair to watch the TV. There we go. I know, we're gonna come copy the bathroom and put it on the next floor. Oh, this is how we're gonna make it small. Yes, okay. And now this is gone. This is going upstairs too. This could be moved over. There we go. All right, so the house just didn't feel small enough to me. So uh, this is the downstairs with the tiniest kitchen and the tiniest uh, living room slash sink. And then there's the upstairs with this Murphy bed slash couch combo and uh, the bathroom, which is basically a shower room with a toilet in it. And you may be wondering, Lauren, how do people get to the second floor? Why? Teleportation, of course. Whenever one of them needs the bathroom or to go to sleep, I will try to teleport them up here and they can fight over the one Murphy bed. <laughs> That's basically one one place to sleep. And when I say they, that's because there's gonna be more than one person living in this house. In fact, there's gonna be eight Sims and the strongest will survive. I don't know. I found Tiny House Nation. Like what are the odds? And this has been in the gallery since February of 2015. So we have John, Yasmin, Natalia, Jeffrey, Rose, Hank, Louise, and Dylan. Mm. Ooh, Dylan has purple eyes. I hope he wins. Could you imagine pulling up to your new house and you're like, uh, what? Look at this thing. Oh my god. All right. I have no idea how this is gonna work. It's just gonna be chaos. I mean, already somebody's eating. Never mind. I found a way to put stairs. So now I just get to see what they all do. Oh god, it's already chaos. This is only half of them. Only half of them are in the house right now. Jeez, everybody is hungry already. Well, good luck. Does that tiny house show seem cool now? <laughs> He walked in, he was like, nope, she's taking her food outside. Let's see if this guy stays in here. Oh, he's staying in. I was saying, I feel like people keep walking in and go right back out. All right. We've got five people, five people in here. I mean, so far it's going pretty smoothly. Oh, oh. <laughs> we have him watching TV over her reading a book with him standing here trying to eat chips. This guy's standing here trying to eat nuggets. This girl's taking up space sitting at the table when she's not needing the table. Oh God, tiny living, am I right? Everybody's fitting in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need eight, where's the eighth? Oh, is that our eighth person? Yes, can eight people fit in here? Yes! Okay, here's all eight family members in the house at the exact same time. Oh my God, hold on. If I make a swimming pool, that's only... <laughs> Will somebody go in this? <laughs> Let's see. Here she comes. World's tiniest sim house. World's tiniest sim swimming pool. Oh my God. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you didn't like that, did you? Didn't like it? She's like, what do I do here? I'm just, do I just float? What, what am I supposed to do? Oh God. <laughs> this is just madness. <laughs> There's three people reading, no, four people reading books. I mean, pretty much all their needs are met. I think, I don't think anybody's dying yet. Sleep, sleep is gonna be very interesting. Uh, this guy's dancing. But we don't have any music. <laughs> there was no space for a radio. What are you dancing to? There's not even music on the TV. It's a horror movie. What are you dancing to? He's dancing while staring at the wall. <laughs> He's slowly going insane. They're all slowly going to go insane. Did anybody go upstairs yet? Oh, 
Somebody did. I want somebody to use this shower room. Oh, it's working out pretty good. It's working out pretty good. Ooh, there's some romance going on. Ooh. Oh, they're spouses. Yeah, I don't know anything about these characters. Just got them from the gallery. They already got their life stories and everything. They were like, we thought this would be fun, living with eight people in this tiny room. Oh, she's trying to go to bed. Oh my God, yes, use the murky bed. Yeah! Oh, okay, it went right in here. Uh, can you get in the bed, or is this gonna be a problem? Okay, she left. I guess she didn't want to go to bed. Jeffrey is shushing John. How dare you shush somebody? Are you kidding me? How are you shushing somebody? It's so small in here. <laughs> What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Oh, they love the puddle. So I have a feeling they can't get into the bed. Let's see. Sleep. Yeah, they can't get to the bed. Okay, this is this is gonna be a bit of an issue. I will give you guys. Oh, but it's really funny when they're all. All right, I'll give you guys one more set of squares up here only. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Just so we can use the bed. This looks weird, but whatever. The whole thing looks weird. All right, now put the bed down. There we go. That is so cool. Oh, why are you freaking out? <laughs> oh, she likes it. And now she's leaving. Oh no, can people not... Wait, can people still not get in the bed? They still can't get in the bed. That wasn't the issue. Tiny living is a learning process. It's the side. There we go. Oh my god, I can't put the bed down because you're standing in front of it, Dylan. Fine, you put the de bed down. There we go. Okay, can they walk around it? Okay, good. Oh, now oh, it's going to be chaos. Everybody's going to be trying to get in this bed. Take power naps, everybody. <laughs> Or be really comfortable with sleeping with strangers. Oh, the old couple. Oh, they're kicking them out of the bed. They're like, we are your elders. Give us the bed. You still can't get in the bed. Ah! Somebody just came in and stole it. You can get in the bed. This guy's just staring at a wall in his pajamas. Can we really get not get in the bed? There are two people in the bed. All right, the rest of you got to fend for yourselves. Everybody's just standing around. Oh, God. What happened to the Murphy bed? Is it gonna catch on fire? Replace? Okay, we fixed it. We fixed it. Literally boat broke on the first night. What's going on down here? Oh, one of them collapsed. Oh my God, the it broke again. Oh my God. All right, I have an idea so that everybody can try to sleep. We're gonna pitch a tent in the backyard. All the way back here. There you go, you're welcome. This way our tiny house stays tiny and whoever really wants to go to bed can go over there. Go to the tent. There you go. Oh my God, we should throw a party. More people. Oh, never mind. They have no friends. <laughs> We're just gonna start taking people from the street and inviting them to our house. Brag about really, really micro home. Uh -huh. Yeah, do that. <laughs> All right, I'm throwing a party and inviting as many people as possible. I'm just gonna hire people. Just see how many people we could fit. Yes. Welcome, welcome to our tiny home. It's very uncomfortable. We're all very smelly, but you know, we're close. We're close and we're saving money. Take a dip in our puddle pool. <laughs> oh my God, we have eight, wait, eight, nine, 10, wait, oh my God, how many people are in here? How many people do we have? And the caterer is watching TV because we have nothing for her to do. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's like, all right, I'm in here. I don't know what to do now, but I'm in here. What'd you do? Oh my God. Everything's breaking in this tiny house. You're embarrassed, you should be. Oh my God, how many people are in the house right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There was eleven. Oh, Rose is married to Jeffrey, but has a love meter with Moira. Why? I love standing around watching TV with my friends. <laughs> is somebody in the chair? Wow, you're just blocking, standing in front of the chair and blocking it. Caterer? In your bathing suit? There's too much happening. There's so many people outside. Puddle pool is still a hit. He has no idea what to do with these dishes. He's like, I need to bring them to the sink, but... Oh, there you go. You got your chance. Everybody's disgusting. Okay, so I just started letting everything break, and I'm just gonna leave it broken unless they fix it. So sink, gone. Murphy bed, broken again. Has broken like every other Sims hour. <laughs> so broken. Throw another party. More people. Oh my god. I think she kicked our thing over. Wow. Oh my god, the welcome wagon started. Yes. Yes, everybody come in. Oh my god, I just paused here, but look at Bob's face. 
He's gonna murder his wife. What is happening? And now he's fine. They're like, yeah, sorry about the puddles here. Half our tiny house is underwater and he seems to not care about it. Dylan does not care about this. And Bob just wants to murder everybody. Okay, guys, this is where things are at. This guy's showering and this other guy's just watching. And now this woman just walked in with peas and nobody seems to care. Nobody seems to care that this old man is showering in front of them. Like they're literally in the shower with him. And also somebody's gonna die a horrible fiery death in this Murphy bed. Oh, great. Another guy just came up here in the shower. Ooh, and he's uh, he's super sick and breaking out in hives. Everybody's falling apart. Oh my God, everything's disgusting. <laughs> Ugh, I don't know what's happening to this guy. You know what? Things have been too cushy for them. I'm gonna get rid of this tent. That's not tiny house living. This is tiny house living. Ooh, oh, this guy is legit whatever. dying. <laughs> they all just started eating at the same time. Oh my God, these people have become one. <laughs> they're living in such tiny quarters that they're merging. Aw, family <laughs> dinner. <laughs> tiny house family dinner. Whoa, whoa! Oh my God. Is he alive? I told you that Murphy bed was gonna kill somebody. Are you okay? <laughs> he just goes right back to sleep. He's like, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, oh, he got kicked out of the Murphy bed by this guy. It's gonna eat you. It's gonna eat you. Oh God, he's staring at the corner. He's, he's just standing in the room creepily while this guy is sleeping and or going to burn to death from the fire. Uh, oh, oh, where did she just go? What, what? People are starting to lose their minds. They're starting to lose. Oh my God. Again with the shower. Oh, oh, it's gonna eat another one. And it ate another one. What was that? Everything's glitching out. Life is going great. Tiny house living's the best. Our whole house is flooding. Bowls everywhere. There's just books all around the pool puddle. Everybody's trying to shower and pass out at the same time. You know, I was wondering if this tiny house could actually kill Sims. But now I'm starting to think that it just keeps them miserable without actually, you know, driving them to death. It just makes them crazy. I mean, unless the Murphy bed kills one of them. Otherwise they have food. They can shower. Oh, the shower's disgusting. Wait a minute. The shower is so gross. Everybody's smelly. Oh no, the toilet's broken now. I feel like everything, the only way that people would start dying in this house is if everything just kept breaking to the point where they didn't have a fridge. The Sims just look so dead inside right now. So dead inside. What are you looking at? <laughs> They're all starting to lose their minds. Everybody's miserable. <laughs> now he's just sadly sitting on the bed. He's sadly walking over. Oh, he just peed. This tiny house situation is not working out for anybody. And there's two down. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna end it here because I really don't think that they're actually gonna die. I think tiny living just makes them all absolutely miserable and lose their minds a little bit. Look, like he's just sadly eating chips up here. Oh, and put it right on the floor. Yep, and he's trapped. Oh, you just trapped yourself with the bowl. All I just hear is crying and sobbing and <laughs> huffing and puffing. But I mean, hey, that's tiny living. <laughs> Are you okay? You okay, girl? You all right? You, you okay? But as always, guys, if you made it this far in the video, make sure to leave a like before you go. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and hit that notification bell so I don't get lost in the void that is now YouTube. And as always, I will see you guys soon.